Welcome back this week, everybody. Today, we are gonna do Cargo Dog. Last week, we did our uh, podcast. So now, we are gonna bring the jail in. We're gonna take out the seats. We're gonna open the Cargo Dog, see what all it entails. And then, Mike's gonna walk us through it all. And then, we're gonna look at his Cargo Dog and his JK, which is basically the same thing, and see how much storage space there is. So, let's uh, follow along. Go see what the heck this Cargo Dog's all about. All right, we are now gonna open the cargo dog and see what's in the box. This is new for me, never opened one. I have no idea what's in here. I don't know what kind of assembly is required. I don't know anything. If you hear a bunch of noise in the background, it's the guys are still working, so bear with me today. You think we're gonna have to put the whole thing together? Because I have no clue. So, all right, we're gonna have to do more cutting. like a box inside of a box. Inside of a box. All right. We have multiple more boxes. Set them outside of the way here. Oh crap. One down, two to go. Like multiplying. Right. Just get a box open. Pieces and parts. Got some USB ports. Awesome. I'll sit those down there for a minute. Here's the first piece. So here's the first piece. Um, I don't think I gotta do any assembly. Got some wiring, keys. I would have assumed there would be some assembly. I believe I'm assuming wrong. Oh man, goodies. Sticker, instructions, brochure, some stuff, more stickers. If you look inside of here, there's a button that does something. It probably turns something on and off. I haven't read through any of this yet. Starts charge ports. Cool part is, the owner's gonna be here very soon. I'm way too impatient. The owner's gonna be here very soon. He's gonna talk us through all these features. So you're gonna know everything this thing does. Let's go open the other one. See what's in that. I'm gonna guess that's the other half of this. Oh, no, that's a filler. And ta-da, another one. This is all just to protect it for shipping. Definitely don't want it to get damaged. This is not a super cheap system, but honestly, I think it's very reasonably priced, especially for what you're getting. Hand-built, American-made. Oh, dude, those gas struts are sweet. It's all rubber sealed. Dude. It's all pre-wired, it's got LED lights in here. So it's got LED light strips, it's all pre-terminated, so it's just plug and play basically. It's got a switch to turn the lights on and off when you automatically open the door. I know I have kids and in the podcast I said I didn't think I'd ever get one of these because I have kids, but I think maybe I should get rid of my kids and get one. I still think you should get one. <laughs> well, the cameraman slash kid says we think we probably should get one. 
Mike's gonna be here in a brief moment. He's gonna talk us through all these features. We're gonna install it. And we're gonna go look at his cargo dog and see how much crap we can put in one. Cargo dog's here. What's happening, Ken? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Too much. Man, I like your Jeep. Thank you. I've seen your Jeep many times, but I don't know how many times any of my subscribers have seen it. It's a nice JK, very well outfitted, running 37s. It's got a whole bunch of Rusty's parts, whole bunch of good parts. Everything underneath that was bought here. Yeah, it's because we like the best, right? Okay. So, Mike, yes. we've been talking, we did a podcast. I've unboxed, they've seen the product a little bit. Why don't you show us yours and how you use it? So this is what it looks like inside. Um, as you can see, the, the seat's removed, gives you a nice flat surface. You, you've eliminated that stupid trench that's normally here between the seats and the back. And my Jeep's empty inside, but I've got tons of stuff with me. And I can show you what, I got, what I've got in here. So I've got a shovel. I've got a metric and a standard adjustable. Uh, some gloves. And we've been out all winter long, so we've been gathering stuff. Uh, some cooler cups. These are some specialty tools that I use for certain stuff. I've got some straps for my roof rack. I've got some fasteners for my roof rack. Some more roof rack features. When we go to shows, we strap a lot of stuff down. Um, all my extra cords and my GRMS uh, charger. Tool bag recovery bag all my d-rings everything in there got a saw i got a hatchet got a hat and that's it for that part compartment so on this side uh this is kind of our everyday use side i got a couple towels in case you spill something i got a jacket i got my air up hoses for my compressor um Got some hats, got a step for getting up on my roof. Another cooler cup, maybe we drink too much. Fire extinguisher, um, bear spray. Never know when you're gonna need bear spray. Another hat, self-explanatory. First aid kit, pair of binoculars, wife's gloves, collapsible dog dish, more cooler cups. Uh, some lights, some Velcro, a couple more towels, that's that side. Um, in the middle, we got the anti-car theft spray, um, just a adapter. I got a headband for lights, got my winch control, got my programmer, um, spare spare spray for the anti-car theft got my grms radios got my gopro some sunglasses wife's hair clip raincoat uh just some miscellaneous crap that you never know if you're gonna need air you know different stuff and then on the back we've got our charging ports so your main switch turns it on and off these will shut the lights off charging port is for the cigarette style You've got the U2 USB style, and then you just get a voltmeter to kind of tell you where your voltage is at. Um, you know, if you're drawing stuff, it gives you a good idea. I've used it before when just, you know, hey, I wonder what kind of voltage I'm putting on my battery's putting out, and that'll kind of give you an idea. You'd never really want to plug an inverter or, an, or a fridge in this. This is more a charging setup, um, but it does a good job for that. So another advantage you gain is, is, you know, we've gained storage in the bottom. You've gained a little more in here because your seats will normally sit, um, you know, about right here. They don't go as flat. And then you've gained the storage up here. Um, I find myself putting a lot like uh, uh, my McKee or my uh, Milwaukee uh, cordless tools will fit, my bag will fit right in there nice and it doesn't interfere, interfere with anything. Um, and a 15 pack of Bush Light fits in there just perfect. 
So, you know, you never know what you got to have. Uh, Mike, <laughs> how many uh, half gallons of vodka can you fit in there? Um, we could give it a shot. You know? how, how, about you to, how about how many tacos? How many tacos <laughs> fit in your taco holder? Um, I think you'd get quite a few in there. <laughs> we need to make Mike a really big taco holder. Right. That's a good, uh, this is a real good area for storing other stuff. And then, you know, of course you got your pockets. But it just, you can kind of see what it, what it gives you. And then, you know, again, this side is removable. So you can run your small side seat. Um, so there's a bracket that you have to have to do it. Pretty much everybody buys the bracket because if you have that third passenger along, you know, you want to take somebody, that side pops right out and you can put the seat in. We'll uh, show you that here in just a little bit as soon as we do the install on the JL we're going to do. But I want everybody to take note. Look at how much stuff is here. It's actually, that's what kind of baffles me. There's just so much stuff that he gets to put in that dead usable space. It makes it extremely usable. Mike? Yeah, you know, all this stuff you're gonna want with you anyways. You know, you get to carry it with you all the time. It's just, I love it. Can we go install one? Let's do it. Let's go do it. Couple tips for you guys when you're, if you're gonna move the cargo dog system in and out, because it's real easy to move in and out. Give yourself some room to work. Um, a T40 Torx will take the bracket off the door and then of course undo your strap and you can open your door out so it's out of the way. If it's a windy day or something, you might want to bolt it or you know tie it down. Um, just watch it so it doesn't beat your door up, but you're not going to have the access without that door folded over. So just something to make it easier. And then we're going to we're going to pull the floor mats out and get the seats out. So at this point, you could bolt this seat down, and with the addition of the bracket, you could you could mount your small side seat and have that if you want to. But we're going to put the the 40% side of the cargo dog in. Okay, so the 40% side's real easy. It's a lot. It's a little bit lighter. And again, these both of these are way lighter than your seats, so you're gaining weight. So you're going to want to take your wire feed, put it through the hole here, and then there's if you look on this, there's these pins, they go into the center box to keep everything aligned. Get them in there, make it happy. Easier said than done. There. So now at this point in time, what I always do is just make sure you like it on both sides. You know, you can move it around a little bit. Um, get the get the gap out of here if you leave if you don't line those pins up you'll never get that plug plugged in so that's pretty much it for the install um just a few a little tips for you if you if you want to be able to adjust how far your door opens all you have to do is loosen the the shock nut and you've got adjustability on that and you've also got it on these side doors to do the same thing if you don't like how tight your door is shutting you know maybe it's it shuts and it's loose or you got to push it real hard to shut it you can adjust the striker in there too so that'll move up and down to get everything the way you want this is the bracket that we sell for the 60 40 conversion so you can run the small side seat if you want um, there's a different one for the JL and the JK so when you order um, it's pretty self-explanatory in there when you order of what one you need the gladiator does not need one the seat set up so it doesn't need one so if you're somebody that's going to want to run the small side seat pick up the bracket also okay just thing one thing I forgot to mention to you the the keys for, for locking the compartments 
One key controls both sides, we'll use on either side. The middle one has a different key. I did that purposely because there's people that like to lock valuables up that they don't want anybody but themselves to get into. Just for an example, you're out somewhere and you're, you want your kid to get something out of the side box and you have your firearm in the middle, you're giving him the key to you know get in the side box, he can't get in the middle. So It's a great just, way to protect yeah, him. Yeah, we just did it that way purposely. It really is. Yep. Mike? I really appreciate you coming out. No problem, man. I appreciate man. the podcast last week. This was a cool install. Usually, Eric installs everything. It's kind of nice having you do something. Right. We gave Eric a break. No, my pleasure. Thank you for uh, for bringing me in and showing people. And uh, Anybody can check us out at uh, cargo.dog. And we'll see you all next Wednesday.